Welcome to the demonstration video on how to make free fireless cookers. This video will demonstrate the process of making the bag design. Let's go through the materials list first. You will need some type of material to hold your bag together. This could be purchased fabric, some old curtains, a blanket, or some old clothes sewn together. I've even used burlap coffee bean bags like this one. The coffee roasting company gave them to me for free. You'll need a cooking pot with a solid, tight-fitting lid. You will need a scissors designed to cut fabric and some type of marking pencil. Sometimes the best marker is actually a bar of soap. You will need a sewing needle and thread. Dental floss can also be used for thread and is really strong. You will need some type of cord or twine to be used as a drawstring. And a strip of cardboard about 2 inches wide and 3 fourths of a meter long. For stuffing material, you can use styrofoam, banana or maize leaves, cotton, wool, or old clothes. Attaching two strap handles is optional, but does make it nice for carrying the bag. If you choose to add this feature, then you will need to have some type of strapping material. I have found useful straps by taking apart old women's purses. The first thing you need to do is measure the pot. From there, we're going to make a pattern that you can use over and over again. Let's find the measurements needed for step one of your bag design instructional handout. We are taking measurements in order to create a pattern stick to draw the stitching circles onto the fabric. I'm holding the stick at point A in the middle of where the cooking pot will end up being in the finished bag. Therefore, point A is the center point. From there, we are measuring to find out where the small circle should be drawn for where the pot sits, and then the large circle for where the sides come up on the bag, and then the final outer circle for the edge of the drawstring pocket. We will also be making a measurement on the stick for the circle we will need to draw for the top cushion. Let's find our distance across our cooking pot to find the first figure needed for point B. So it looks like our distance across is 25 centimeters. I've written down 25 centimeters, and then we need to add 5 centimeters to allow for the area being puffed up once we add the stuffing. Then we must divide this answer by 2 because we are measuring everything from the center point. The next measurement needed, point C, is easy. All you do is take your answer from point B and add 5 centimeters. This will be the measurement used to draw the top cushion circle. Now it's time to measure the height of your cooking pot. I'm going to call this 22 centimeters. I've recorded our measurement of 22 centimeters for the height of the pot. Then we need to add 8 centimeters to allow for the sides to puff out from the stuffing. Then we have to add our answer from B so that we know the distance from the center point A, making our answer for point D to be 45 centimeters. Point E is really easy to find as you just add 5 centimeters to your answer from point D. This measurement is for the largest circle, which is the outer edge of the drawstring pocket. Now transfer your measurements to your cardboard strip to create your pattern piece. You can use a pencil to push through the cardboard to create the holes. 
first check to make sure that there's going to be enough room for you to draw the circles on the fabric. You can also cut out the full circle needed to quickly be able to determine if you have enough fabric. I like to cut a hole in the center of the paper pattern so that I can mark the center point onto my fabric. If you plan to make these over and over again for a business, you might want to make a more permanent pattern. Here you can see that I have made a wooden pattern stick to replace my cardboard one. We are tracing point B and then skipping C as that is for the top cushion. Then we will draw point D and finally point E. The next step is to use a straight board to draw lines through the middle section to create eight pockets to stuff which will become the side walls of the fireless cooking bag. It should look like this. Now draw the circle for the top cushion. Go ahead and pin the fabric layers together and then cut out along the line of the outermost circle. Then pin and cut out the top cushion. For just the top cushion, after it's cut out, you will want to remove the pins, turn it around so it's right sides together, and then pin it again. Now it is time to sew around the area where the cooking pot will sit. We don't want to sew all the way around as we need to leave some room for inserting the stuffing material. What I do is start sewing at one of the points from the eight middle sections and then sew around stopping at the last point before the one where I started. Step three is to sew the middle section pockets. In this image, the stitching lines are drawn with a thicker marker. Each section is basically sewn in the shape of a backwards capital L. One section should remain completely open to allow for stuffing the innermost circle. My fingers are showing you the stitching lines on the actual project. Remembering that you need to keep one section completely open. Now we're at step number four. Stuff the innermost circle, being careful not to overstuff it. Then sew the opening to that section closed. For each of the eight middle sections, stuff and then sew closed. For step seven, we are going to insert a cord into the outer drawstring pocket and sew the outermost edge closed. You can either zigzag stitch over the raw edges or turn the raw edges to the inside for a cleaner finish, but that will take longer to sew. For my drawstring, I'm using paracord, which requires the ends to be burned to prevent unraveling. Now cinch up your bag. In order to make a drawstring stop to keep the bag closed, we will need to make three or four cobra stitches. We start by putting the left string on top and then taking the right string and going under and through that left opening. Then go ahead and draw it closed. Now we proceed by starting with the right string. Bring it across in front. The left one goes under and through the right hole. And draw it closed. Now we start with the left again. Put them on top. The right one goes under and through the opening and pull it closed. Again, we start with the right, go on top of those two strings. The left one goes over, under, and up through that hole. Then we proceed with the left, the right one goes under, 
up and out the hole. And you just keep going, the right one on top. So you're just alternating. You start with the right, then you start with the left. And you go back and forth until they're done. And you notice you can slide it and it will keep it closed. And it can't break, which is the best benefit. Now let's sew the top cushion. Using 1 4th seam allowance, stitch around, leaving an opening to insert your stuffing. Now turn it right side out. Go ahead and stuff the top cushion, being careful not to overstuff. Now pin and sew the opening closed. If you want to apply some decorative beads, cut the cording at an angle and then burn the tip so it can be used as its own sewing needle to go through the beads. Your free fireless cooker is now ready to use or sell in your store.